Mr. Benson sprung on us in science class? It was pure evil. I thought it was easy. What's this? Huh? Ooh. Dear Clover, roses are red, violets are blue. I'd like to go to the movies with you. Ooh. Oh, a love poem. Or an attempt at one, anyway. Who's it from? Ah! Daryl. <gasps> He's been following me around all week. Clover, what are you doing? Please, you don't think I would actually date the president of the chess club? Why not? I just happen to like guys who are, you know, cooler. Hi, Clover. Huh? Did you get my note? Um, yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not free. But I didn't even tell you what night I wanted to take you out. My schedule's kind of tied up. Indefinitely. Oh, I get it. Well, I guess it's true what people say about you. What do they say? That you're an ice queen. Queen? Ah, that's ridiculous. He obviously doesn't know that I was voted Little Miss Sunshine in second grade. You crowned yourself ah. Little Miss Sunshine. Whatever. Ah! Looks like Jerry's taking a cue from Mr. Benson. I don't know what's worse, a pop quiz or a pop mission. Ah! Ah! Hello, girls. How well do you know your ecobiology? I'd say it's the top. This is the island of Fiji. Fiji? Looks more like Alaska. They've had some unusual weather conditions lately, including a volcano that spews ice. Really? My sentiments exactly. And now the phenomenon seems to be spreading to other equatorial islands as well. Like the greenhouse effect only backwards. The igloo effect. Exactly. And if these anomalies continue, it could mean disaster for the ecosystem and eventually for mankind. You'll start your investigation on Zanzibar Island, one of the once tropical locations where the strange occurrence is currently happening. You'll be posing as reporters for Geography International. Cool. Do we get those tiny tape recorders? No, but I've gotten you some lovely ballpoint pens. These are super fine dual cartridge heat seeking sleep darts. They can hit any target in a hundred foot range. Nice. And you'll also be needing these. Steel reinforced Polytech Parabrellas, thermodynamic cold sensitive Tempatrol bracelets, precision lip balm lasers, cherry flavor, and these awful boots. No kidding. Fur is so last year. Plus, I don't think they'll match my earmuffs. Awful. A W F U L. All weather fleece ultralight boots. Awful. Cool. Skates. Awesome. I'll get new earmuffs. It's like a winter wonderland. When Daryl said that everyone says I'm an ice queen, who do you think he means by, like, everyone? Um, everyone at school? You're at school. Hey, guys, I forget. Which clouds cause storms, cumulus or cirrus? Alex, will you forget about the quiz for a second? We're trying to discuss my reputation here. I wasn't talking about the quiz. I was talking about that. <gasps> always seem to seek out danger. Actually, danger seems to seek us out. Thanks for agreeing to show us around, Mr. Uh, your mayorness. Call me Kimba. And what are your thoughts on these bizarre weather conditions, Mayor Kimba? If it doesn't change soon, Zanzibar won't be an island. It'll be an iceberg, and you can quote me on that. <laughs> 
then we better get this mission, I mean article, started. Geyser Field is the furthest point inland. Normally, it's a bit of a tourist hotspot, if you'll forgive the pun. We get bursts of steam over seven feet high. I think I'm beginning to understand what's happening here. Huh? You are? Yeah, think about it. Ice from volcanoes, ice from geysers, it's all coming from down below, from the center of the Earth. But I thought the Earth had a molten core. Boy, I really messed up on that quiz. No, Alex, you're right. In fact, according to my analysis, this piece of ice is actually a chunk of frozen magma. So something or someone has changed the temperature of the Earth's core. Looks that way. Now all we need to do is find a way to get below the Earth's surface. If you can make my car do that, I'll be really impressed. Uh -huh. ah! Huh? Ah! Sam, are you okay? I'm fine. Embarrassed, but fine. Hey, look at that! It must have come up through the geyser. Feels like some kind of synthetic fabric. Maybe temperature controlled. Perfect. Huh? A high-tech tissue. <gasps> is it me? Or is it getting colder out here? It's not you. The temperature has dropped 10 degrees since we got here. We've got to investigate the Earth's core, and fast. Clover, call Jerry. Kemba, we need to have a little teleconference with our editor, but we'll call you if we need anything else for the interview. You journalists are very dedicated. Let me know when the article comes out. Hello, ladies. I'm glad you called. There's something I need to show you. I'm afraid the situation has become quite grave. The cold spell is now spreading out from the equator. Temperatures are dropping all over the world. If you don't hurry, the Earth will ice over completely. All life will be destroyed. Then we need to get beneath the Earth's surface. The best way would be to go down to the ocean floor and through the Marianas Trench. I'll have a whoop submarine meet you at the beach ASAP. Clover, show him that cloth with the weird insignia you used as a tissue. Uh -huh. Scan it in. I'll run it through our database and call you when I know more. Uh, 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 Bless you. right now. Would you settle for a breath mint? That's all I've got. Oh, great. Winter fresh. We're heading into the trench. What's that rock formation up ahead? I don't know, but I think we just hit it. Hey, weird. There's that symbol again. Huh? That'll be Jerry. I've got the information on the sample you sent, Spies. The insignia appears to be the trademark of a research scientist named Dr. Jali, the world's leading authority on global warming. He took a leave of absence last year and he hasn't been seen or heard from for months. That's strange. Indeed. Oh, and Clover, make sure to drink plenty of liquids. Seems you have a bit of a cold. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> now hurry, girls. The fate of the world is depending on you. Boy, he really knows how to lay on the pressure, doesn't he? Ah! What's that? It looks like we're being attacked. Ah! He's trying to sink us! What are we gonna do? Hey, where'd he go? The sea's turning to ice. We've gotta hurry or we'll be crushed. Hurry where? We can't go anywhere with this big rock. Come on, 
much further I could go. I'm ready to fever. You're probably the hottest thing on our planet right now. If I weren't so sick, I'd totally take that as a compliment. <sighs> this ice feels good. <laughs> Country, I already have. If you look at the monitors, I think you'll see that the world is experiencing a bit of a cold snap. Why are you doing this? I've spent my career researching the damage humans have done to this planet. Pollution, the depletion of the ozone, destroying Earth's natural resources. And I've come to realize that you people don't deserve it. So, I'm taking the planet back to the Ice Age. But you'll freeze along with us. Well, your concern is touching. But not to worry, I have a little safe house tucked away where I'll sit out the storm. Then, when everything has been destroyed, I'll use a remote control to reverse this device and rewarm the Earth. You'd be kind of lonely living on the planet all by yourself. Well, I'm a bit of a loner by nature. But now that you mention it, a little companionship couldn't hurt. Do you play <gasps> chess? No matter, I'll teach you. Boys! Bring the blonde. She seems like the perfect ice queen. <gasps> As for you two, I'm afraid you'll be spending the rest of eternity in deep freeze, here at the center of the Earth. <laughs> no! now we must hurry. In 20 minutes, the Earth will be completely frozen over. list. Yeah, and you could have delivered it directly to Santa's workshop. This must be Dr. Jalee's ice hideaway. Oh. You okay? Yeah, fine. I just tripped over this snowbank. Find a way in 
inside. Can you skate a figure eight? Sure, why? Checkmate. I win again. This is going to be a long ice age. Ah! Oh! Ha! Sorry to interrupt your game. That's okay. I was losing anyway. No! No, you've ruined everything. Don't you understand that we'll freeze in here? Unless you deactivate your freeze ray. My life's work. I won't do it. Get them! Schedule's kind of tied up. 